We're going to go through the Avira antivirus that I install on all computers that I sell or repair. Uh, what I want you to do is double click on the red umbrella icon up there that says Avira antivirus. Uh, this here is the page that will open up. Uh, this I set all automatically so you really don't need to worry anything about uh, the standard, the normal viruses. You have protection for it. You do not need to pay for it. I set it up in expert mode which means when it finds viruses it puts them all away. It also will scan every day at noon and it will get a new update every other day. Uh, when it does get its updates, uh, a picture uh, page will open up trying to sell you the premium service. Uh, it's up to you. I don't buy the premium service, so if you don't want it, just hit the OK at the bottom of the page and it'll go away until the, you know two days from then when it gets its other new update. Uh, the only thing you can do in here is to come in here and you can look and see the dates that it got last got its update. This should never be more than two days behind because it should get an update every other day. Also, you, this, for the scan, it also scans every day, so make sure that's that should be every you know current at least within one day. If ever you go to a website, you think something happened, a page popped up that you're wondering about if it's a virus or whatever, you can come in here. The first thing you want to do, though, before you do any scans on this one or any of the other programs I stick in there, is you want to update. So you just come in, hit the update button, and it'll get your update. It'll tell if you currently have the, you know, the current protection. Uh, it has a timer down here. You can hit close, or you can, it'll just go away when the timer runs out there. Uh, so now once you got the update, you know, it'll give you the show you the current date. Then you can come in, hit sys, scan the system. That'll automatically start up. Takes about five seconds to get going. And once it gets started, then you can actually even just close the other page if you want. Or um, you can hit minus signs on both of these. Doesn't matter. Or just let the thing run and you can go and open up another page and go right over the top of it. It's just like that. So whatever you'd like to do. We'll close that back down. Uh, so what I'm going to do right here, just since uh, this is a training video, uh, we don't need to run a scan right now. I'm going to hit stop. Give it a second. It'll tell you the scan has finished. And then you can close the thing out here. The end sign. It'll uh, The stop button turns into end. So we'll just hit end. That goes away. Uh, if you don't like the settings, if you don't want it running at noon, come in here. Uh, hit the administration. Hit the schedule, word scheduler and you'll see uh, the top one that actually is the complete system scan that tells you when it scans at daily at 12 uh, it's blue just take and right click on that and go to edit job and left click on that and then just hit the next button and the next again and next again that brings you to where you can set it uh, what days you want if you want it daily weekly uh, immediately uh, intervals whatever I have mine set it daily I would suggest you do too Yes, it is kind of a little bit of a pain every day when that pops up. It never fails. You're in the middle of something. Um, but uh, it's a bigger pain if you get a virus and your computer crashes and you got to come screaming to me. <laughs> so, anyway, leave it set for daily. Uh, change the time if it's a bad time, whatever. Um, so just go in here and just adjust it, whatever. It's army time, so just adjust it accordingly. If you do not like it, uh, this check mark here, if your computer is turned off at noon and you turn it on, say, at 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, this check mark means that when you start up, it will actually run a scan. Then it takes just a minute for it to start up after you've actually started your computer up. If you don't like that and you want to, would rather do it manually, just uncheck that. Just click it and the check mark comes off of there. So. Uh, I leave mine checked that way if the computer is off I turn it on it kind of reminds me hey it needs a scan so I think it's a good idea to leave it on uh, after you've set the times whatever you want then just hit the next button and then hit finish same thing with updates you can set it so you can get the update every single day uh, or weekly whatever so click on it to make it blue right click and then left click on the edit job and once again just go through the next until you get to the clock set whatever time you want or whenever you want yours is set for interval which means every other day so uh, same thing has the check mark if you don't want it to do it if your computer's off just uncheck it and then hit your next and finish uh, if you'd like to see if it's finding viruses and stuff just click on the words quarantine over there you'll see all of the viruses that it's finding in there they are safe in here so don't worry about it um, don't go restoring them or anything like that unless you absolutely know what you're doing.
Uh, otherwise, just don't worry about them. They're fine. They're locked away. Uh, then I suggest going back here to overview. And that way, anytime you go and you open this up, it'll come to this page and you can just keep an eye on it. Just make sure that these dates are changing. You know, if it shows anything more than a couple days late, uh, you know, call me up. We'll figure out what we need to do. So uh, that's all there is to do on this one. Uh, when your computer first starts up, it will, you know, like I said, if it's off, it's going to um, pop up a window that it's getting the updates. Uh, if it bugs you, hit the minus sign and just bring it right down to the bottom. And that's about there, all there is on this. So just close that up. And we'll make another video on the other programs I put on. Just check out all the links on the page. Just call me if you need help. Goodbye.